okay so here we can enter the uh, uh, name of the chart and here we can select the each of y axis like a series okay so next horizontal axis we can able to select the field here what is the field we want in a horizontal like a company name and all so if you want you can able to enter the, this here description okay so once we done this one okay so here you can able to see this change the name okay so once you click on a save here so our chart it will be saved okay if you click on this one the chart is saved and if you want we can close the chart designer okay so now this is a our chart okay this is just test chart so if you want to share this one to your particular user if you click on a share so that it you can able to you are the user or a team here okay so for example i want to share this chart to this user here we can able to give the privilege like a read write delete append okay assign share so we can add this permissions to here to the user okay so then if i click on this one so then if i click on a share so that the my chart will be shared to the particular user for example i want to export my chart here okay so export this one okay so it will give us the xml file if you open this one it's a xml file it will give us so this is a xml file chart okay so that this xml file again i can able to import it so in another location okay in another server okay so this is a the chart export and import so if here by if by click on this one here i can see the import the chart okay so if i click on import the chart i can able to import the earlier what is the xml file i have exported okay so this is a personal chart so if i want to create a system chart okay so go to the customizations settings solutions here so so open the solution here you can able to see the and go to the entity here you can able to see the chart okay if you click on that we can able to create the charts here click on a new same thing whatever we done earlier okay here we have to select the view on which view uh, this chart has to be displayed okay and enter the chart name okay test 1 2 3 so here what is the field we have to select okay so if you select the here the field name and all you have to select the as a count or non count okay so if you select this field name integer or something it will give us the max min and sum so this aggregate methods it will be shown so if you select this one like a chart top five or a custom so these all are the filterings okay so and also here we can select this one column column chart or a bar chart okay so like a area chart so if you select this one it will be a like this so if you use select the file chart it will be like this if you select the qnl chart it will be like this okay so we have to define this chart based upon that okay So next we click save this one. It will be. So we have to. We are not selected the this one. Okay. So now we click save this one. The chart is visible to all the users on a active contacts view. Okay. So if you click on a publish all. So this chart is visible to. all the users so this is called the system charts so basically these charts can be used 
in the dashboards so when you are creating a dashboards we can able to insert the charts there so that is that is where we can use the, these charts okay 